TCG series. And today we're on Twitch. So if you're not aware, I am streaming on Twitch these days. You'll probably see me every Saturday at around 1 a.m. GMT. And yeah, so the point of today's stream is I want to play some standard. I got some really cool new cars to show off. And yeah, I really want to like break in the standard as much as possible. And what I've done is I've built a water deck. I built it from the uh, Intellian deck, but then ended up swapping everything out. Um, so there's a few cards from it, but for the most part, it's essentially new. So what I'm running is I'm actually running the Blastoise Lapras VMAX combo. It's, it was the easiest for me to get into. Um, Cause I ended up picking up a Lapras V and a VMAX as well as a Frostmoth. And I decided to take the plunge. Uh, I essentially traded off some unlock boosters to pick up two more Lapras Vs, two more Lapras VMAXs and another Frostmoth. So these are the Pokemon I'm running with. I've had a little bit of success with it. I've started getting wins, which is awesome in standard. I didn't think I actually would. Um, these are trainers. I'm not happy with these trainer cards just yet. Um, like, I need another. Cru I definitely need another Crush Awake. I want to get some normal rods. I need more evolution and sensors. There's still quite a few more cards I'm still looking for and wanting to get. But I'm happy with the start. And I figured to kick off today, I actually want to open up two more boosters and see what I pick up. I did pick up the Intrepid, so Intrepid Swordization recently uh, from a locked pack, which was quite cool. Um, so I finally got that going for me. And let's kick this off, open up two packs and see what we get. So from the first booster, uh, not terrible, not great so far. Um, anything lucky? Oh, got an oh this, this was actually quite nice. This is the Cinderace that actually has um, Libero. Once during your turn when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you may attach up two energy cards from a discard pile to it. I really like this Cinderace. And like I said with the Intellion decks, I really wish the Intellion theme decks came with the ability versions. I understand why they didn't, but at the same time it's really frustrating because they would have made the theme decks so, so badass. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. One day I think I'll make a fire deck, but it's not today. Um, I'm not huge into fire decks. I don't know, it's just never been a typing for me. Uh, got ourselves an air balloon, which is not terribly bad. And got ourselves another Pokemon catcher. I'm always happy with that. Oh, hey, in dead EV. I think this is the second one I have now. No, it might be the first. Uh, no, this is the first foil I think I have. Watch over. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. I quite like it. And then Psychic this takes 60 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. It's it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, that watch over the healing is awesome. Um, this is actually really cool in that fighting type deck, the, the tanky fighting type deck I was thinking of making. Huh. Okay, this is possibly a card for the future. So, uh, let's kick off and let's jump into some standard games. So, I am slightly bummed out of buy. I had to trade for the cards for this, but it's understandable. It's a trading card game, and yeah, it's what you gotta do. So I'm quite enjoying playing Standard. It is very different, um, very different. <laughs> and it's been one huge jump going from theme where I knew all the theme decks, I knew what was in all the theme decks, I knew how they played, to, oh my word, I have no idea what's happening. Um, do I wanna go first? I actually don't think so. I'd rather go for card advantage. Uh, I know I need evolutions for this deck, but... Ooh. Um, I'm actually okay with this. So the unfortunate thing is, I actually don't want to lose a Squirtle super early on. Um, but being able to charge up a Lapras V early is so, so great. So let's put the Lapras V in the active spot. And let's pass over to my opponent. Also, if you do see me looking down every now and again, it's because I kind of have to have my chat open on my phone. Um, I just don't have space for a second monitor right now, which is quite unfortunate. Maybe one day. But my, at the moment, my desk space is rather limited. And that unfortunately is just not an option. So, I am going to Cynthia right now. I definitely don't want to pro uh, profess this research. I'm actually liking Cynthia a lot more. Oh, this is actually quite bad. Um, because I didn't get another water energy. I was really banking another water water energy. Hmm. That's actually very frustrating. Hmm. 
Hmm, that's a problem. Okay. Um, I didn't want to Great Ball Pearl Pad or Poke Gear just yet. I want to see what my opponent does on their side. Uh, yeah, there's the Marnie. I figured there's going to be a Marnie coming. Uh, so I wasn't terribly concerned with going for um, pulls right now. Okay, it's going to suck losing Blastoise. Um, but hey. Oh, that hurt. That really hurt. Hmm. Alright, so this is going to be going there. Unfortunately, I'm going to just have to be losing a Blastoise here. It's not something I want, but hey. Okay, this is this is actually quite a bit better. Um, I am quite happy with this. So that we can get a War Turtle down. And... Again, I don't desperately want to use any of this. I'm waiting to hopefully draw an energy next turn to get energy retrieval off. Because then I can get Crush a Wake Off, which will get me my Blastoise. And then the deck really, really goes on from there. So let's... Um, do I want to play this Lapras V? I think I want to play this Lapras V. There's nothing else I want to do this turn. Let's go for Body Surf. Let's grab that card. And let's swap into Squirtle. Uh, so this hasn't been a great start. But it's not terrible. Uh, I don't like the fact that my Lapras V is sitting with 90 damage on it already. But hey, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm actually hoping that another Marnie doesn't come out. That'd be quite frustrating. Ah, uh, there's another Marnie. Okay, that's a bit frustrating, but let's see what we get. If I can get Blastoise in this hand, I'll be very, very happy. Got yeah, no Blastoise. Um, I actually... Ooh. Okay. What does Metal Goggles do? I actually don't know that card. Come here. Okay, that's lucky. Um, the potential takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, um, there's the VMAX, which is massive, because now I can actually start doing damage. So that VMAX is huge. Let's get the Squirtle out of there. And I want to get that uh, Snom down. There's Poke Gear. We've got Professor, that's perfect. Going from Professor. Again, I'm very happy losing a Squirtle at this stage. I am not complaining. And... Not bad. Certainly not bad. I can't use Crush Awake this turn yet, so that's alright. I do want to use Pole Pad though, and I want to get that Cynthia... Oh, I forgot to Crush Awake and actually obviously didn't go to my discard pile. Let's get those two back there. Um, Ordinary Rod. Hmm... The thing is, I'm worried about using Ordinary Rod because I want to get Crush Awake off next turn for Blastoise. So I actually don't think I'm going to do that. Let's just go for damage. Um, will this still knock out? Because I'm dealing 180... Yeah, 180 takes a lot. Cool. So we're now moving, which is quite good. Uh, my opponent doesn't have too many threats on the table at the moment. I mean, it's just the Bishop, which I'm not exactly worried about right now. Oh, well, Ponyard. That's going to turn into Bishop, most likely. Um... Okay, there is almost into V, which is slightly problematic because it's not going to take any damage from me. Okay, so my VMAX is not going to do anything there. Um, Lapras V just doesn't get a KO. Huh. How did I lose an energy? Was it Steel Trap? Oh yeah, it was Steel Trap. Um... Okay, that's a little bit frustrating. Oh, I've got the Evolution Incense, which is actually really great. So I can get my Blastoise down finally, which is massive. Okay, so Blastoise can go down onto there. And then what I actually need next is I need to charge up this Lapras to get rid of the um, Zamazenta V. Because my Lapras's V Maxes can't do it. And Blastoise is a bit less reliable to do it. So, let's hit, um, I'm actually not terribly worried about Crush Awake now, because I got what I wanted. I wouldn't mind Frostmoth, but it's not the end of the world. I'd rather go for Ordinary Rod, get those energies back in my deck, and hopefully get it off with Blastoise. So let's get those, and let's get those two energies back. Alright, this is looking good. Hey, Corolla99, I'm glad you're here, and I hope you enjoy the games. And then let's get that water energy down on Lapras before I forget. And now, let's go for Powerful, powerful Squall. 
And we get slightly lucky. We're halfway there to get this Lapras online. I just need to remember to not um, evolve this Lapras V. Otherwise, I'm going to have serious problems. And let's get a Cynthia for a new hand. And what comes in after this? Uh, not great. Uh, oh, hello. I've got Frostmoth, which is quite nice. I'm running two Frostmoths now, which I'm really, really happy about. I've traded for a second one. Um, Pulpad. Yeah, I can use Pulpad to get those cards back in my deck. And what else? I don't need any more. Uh, I can go for, I can actually go for War Turtle right now. Okay. Thank you, deck. Gave me a War Turtle. I love it when it actually gives you what you ask for. So let's get that War Turtle down. And nothing else I really want to do. And let's just go forward and attack. So this Zumzenta V is actually going to be a slight problem. Um, there's no way I can knock it out in a single turn. And I'm going to have to retreat out of this, which is a bit frustrating. Got some more Laprises? Yes, I did. So I managed to trade... Uh, so I got two more Lapras Vs. And I got two more Lapras V Maxes. Which is super, super exciting. So now I've got three of each. So the deck is actually working a lot better now. than I'm not running one offs. So let's get Ice Dance off. Uh, to make sure that this Lapras goes online. And now that it's online, you can't knock me out on a single turn. So let me retreat out of there. Let's go into this Lapras V. Let's get a powerful Squall off. Uh, just one energy. Let's put off my Lapras V in the front. Um, in it, I can't remember, can I do this more than once a turn? As often as you like. Okay, cool. So it's energy recall. Let's bring those energies back to my hand. And let's use Frostmoth again to get them on my other Lapras VMAX, the one that's fresh. And the one that's very, very pretty. I am super happy I actually got this. Um, nice, I really enjoy this deck a lot. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really fun deck. Um, it's, it's not that expensive to build. Um, I actually, I was expecting worse. I was expecting a lot worse with this deck. So, the Lapras Vs go for about, um, if, if you're lucky, you can get it for a single booster pack, but you're basically going for two un unlock boosters for Lapras V, and it's about three for Lapras V Max, um, and then one more for Frostmoth. So, it, it's not terrible. Um, it's, it's a tad pricey, but it's not terrible. Um, it's definitely doable. Um, so, it's a relatively inexpensive deck, and if you've already got the theme deck for with Blastoise, it's that much easier to get. Um, luckily I had... Oh, well, the deck actually comes with two Blastoises, so it's fine. Um, but I'm saying I did actually have a four-year Blastoise as well, which I was able to swap in, which was quite nice. Um, cool, let's see what comes next. I do... Ah, oh, there you go, victory. Cool, so I ended up picking up a standard win. Um, super excited I'm actually picking up wins with a standard, I can't believe it. And yeah, like I said, this is a pretty easy standard deck to get into it with. Um, it's a lot of fun to play. Lapras is a be beautiful card. And like I said, if you've already got that theme deck to build off of, it's not a lot you need to actually build this together. It really is just this Lapras's. Uh, I did get lucky the fact that I got both a Lapras and a VMAX. Oh, okay. I don't know what deck my opponent's using. That's, that's actually my biggest problem with playing standard, is I don't know the cards. Uh, no, I want to go second. I don't know these cards. Um, nor do I know the decks. Ooh. This is not a great start. I'm really glad I have Cynthia. I must say, I know you're getting one less card, but I prefer running Cynthia in this deck. Um, and the reason for that is, I, there isn't a lot of discard power interaction. So I don't want to be accidentally... Oh, I'm going to take these draws, actually. Oh, okay. So I'm running up against a Lapras VMAX. Um, Jet Geyser, once you can turn before you attack, you may discard a water energy card from your hand. If you do, your opponent switches their active Pokemon one or their bench Pokemon. Oh, that's really irritating. And then Sauna Blast. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh, this is going to be very frustrating to play against. Um, there's the Lapras V. I now don't know if I actually want to... Cynthia, this hand. 
We could have War Total and Blastoise. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, I don't know if that was the right call. Because the problem is now my opponent's gonna be having Lapras online next turn. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do against it. I don't know if that was the right play, holding on to this hand. I put him up to running the, running the G-Max version as well, which doesn't help. And this is a Keldeo. Yeah, okay. Um, this is going to be a really tough game. Problem is my opponent's already online. Mm, this is going to be a very tough game. This Wave Crash just does 40 damage, right? Wave Splash just does 40 damage. I wish I had the other War Turtle right now. Hmm. I don't know if I should get rid of this hand or not. There's actually no point doing doing that, uh, because I'll be I'll be switching back into Squirtle anyway, and we'll just have to energy in the discard pile. Uh, I feel like I should get rid of this hand. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get rid of the hand. It's not. It's not worth keeping. I don't think. Okay, let's get rid of Cynthia. Let's see what we get. Not great. I won't lie. This is not great. Um. Don't know if that was the right call. Okay. Anyway, let's see what we get. I need to get my Lapras uh, VMAX online and get a knockout on their one first. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Lady's actually not a bad idea for this deck. Might actually want to run Lady. That's a really good idea. Hmm. I should actually probably put a Lady in this deck. Uh, it'll be my way to actually speed up a lot faster. Okay, I'm losing War Turtle, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, I want to get a knockout here, but I don't think I won't anyway. 180 is not enough damage. Okay, let's put that Squirtle forward. Unfortunately, it's going to be a sacrifice. Uh, let's see, what do we get from Great Ball? Please. Ah, uh, that was a bad Great Ball. I need the Squirtle, but that was a bad Great Ball. Okay, let's get that down. Um, let's see, what do we get? Yes. Um, honestly, right now, a Prof's Research is actually better. I'm okay losing an energy, because I'm going to Ordinary Rod now anyway to put these cards back into my deck. Um, let's put these back, two back in. And then let's go for Prof. So I'm only losing one energy. I'm I'm okay with that. Um, not bad, not great, but not bad. Um, I'm tempted to hold on to this incense for next turn. I do want to put one of these down on Lapras just in case. Um. Oh wait, wait! I can't actually get I can't get Blastoise next turn anyway. Okay, let's. Um. Yeah, let's evolution this now, just in case. Let's bring out Lapras V Max. Sorry, I was thinking of bringing out Blastoise next turn, but I can't actually get the evolution off. So let's bring that out, and let's just charge it up. Cause next time, I'm getting rid of these cards anyway. Let's make sure this VMAX is good to go. I'm going to be knocking out everything. Okay. Uh, this for I get to choose for Jet Guys. Hey, you may discard the water engine from your hand if you do. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Okay, so I do get to choose. Uh, my concern now, I guess, would be Pokemon Catcher. Any way for them to force this Lapras VMAX in is not what I want to see. 
Um, how long have you been into PTCG? I mean, like, not only with online. Um, not long, actually. So, I played when I was a kid, like, in elementary school, primary school. So, I played back then, and I basically stopped... Jeez, I must have stopped, like, 12 years ago. More. I must have stopped, like, more than 12 years ago. Uh, when I got into Magic the Gathering. Uh, I've been playing Magic the Gathering since then, basically all the way through, uh, Varsity. And I've only really gotten back into Pokemon TCG last year. Um, end of last year, really. I started playing a lot. I started playing again, like, in August. So, yeah, I've basically been playing just since August. Oh, this is exactly what I was worried about. Oh, that sucks. It's not going to be a KO, but that sucks. But yeah, so, um, in all fairness, I've really only been playing since last August, for what matters. Um, so yeah, I am very new to this. So expect, as I've said before, a number of mistakes. Okay, so let's bring out the Cynthia. Um, okay, I'm very happy to see the Lapras down there. And... How many energies do I have? I think I got one. Hmm... Is this enough damage? Um, 6, 12, 18... It's not enough damage... To actually get a KO. I don't think. Because uh, 6 times 3... 6, 12, 18, that's 180, it's 200 and... I need 270 damage. So I'm just not going to get a knockout, I need to get 2 more energies onto this. There's no way I can do that. Um... Guess we'll start charging up the next one. Damn, I'm just short on energies. That's super frustrating. Oh man, I'm not gonna get this KO. I need to. I need to be able. I had to have one more energy on this Lapras Vmax. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, the next one's coming online. Hmm. Yeah, my opponent's upplayed me this game. I don't think I can get out of this. Because the problem is that VMAX in the back is going to take, even if I evolve this Lapras V, it's not going to matter. Because they one on the back line is going to get through. I must say, I do like running Lady with this deck. It's a good idea. It's a very good idea running into Lady. And Killer99, how long have you been playing for? Um, yeah, I'm curious. Okay, let's go into... I don't know what. Um, might as well use Energy Retrieval to get these two energies back. Let's get one more energy down this Lapras. And I basically need to pray for our Blastoise. If, Bla if I don't see Blastoise, it's 100% yeah, game. Um, ah, that sucks. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, let me get this War Total online. Okay, let's retreat this Lapras with this War Turtle. Let's get Ordinary Rod going. Let's do both. Let's get these two back. Let's get those energies back. Um, I'd rather get another Lapras going than having another Squirtle going. So let's get another Lapras going. My two Blastoise are there. I just need them to come out. Um, let's get that down. Let's go here, and let's get absolutely nothing. Okay, and let's go for the Aqua Slash. So it's at least going to pick up some prize cards. Uh, I'm playing when I was a kid to count in a competitive way in my city, and then just collect them for a few years. Oh, that's quite cool. Uh, and I got back into it with a Zekrom deck a few years ago, and now play, uh, PTG, PTCGO, and I'm like so overwhelmed with the new things. <laughs> I get you. Uh, this game has changed a lot from back in the day. <laughs> it really has. So trust me, mate, I understand you. 
I remember being so proud of having my first Haymaker back then. <laughs> yeah, wow, this game has changed a lot. Um, yeah, because I mean, I'm, I remember picking up those first theme decks that came out. Um, like the old school Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur decks. And I mean, like, I still remember collecting the those promo cards you got from the Pokemon movie. Like, I got all of those in my collection back in the day, and that was like my, my pride and joy. Um, I never played competitively. Unfortunately, I grew up in quite a small town. So, yeah, needless to say, there wasn't much Pokemon, and what wasn't like the closest. The closest game store was like over an hour away from where I stayed. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I never played competitive Pokemon before. Um, this, if you want to call it competitive, this standard is kind of the most competitive I've ever played. Um, so yeah, no, that's really cool. I must say, this Pokemon TCG Online is a great way to get back into the game. And uh, just to keep practicing, especially now that everyone's staying at home. Um, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. It's it's make it, it's made the game very accessible, which I really really like. Um, this is so game. Okay, Blastoise, I need to see you. Okay, that's Blastoise. Now what I need to see is a lot of energies, and I need to see a V Max. So let's Great Ball this. Okay, there's V Max. Let's get the pretty one out again, and hopefully we can do it. So, let's get the pretty one down. Uh, the problem is they win anyway, because I can just switch in something. Oh, that's frustrating. This is going to be game. Um, let me blast toys first. We've got a higher chance of drawing energies that way. Okay, I've got two. So, unfortunately, it is not enough for a knockout. And let's prof this. Let's see what we get. Um, I don't think I've played an energy this turn, actually. No, I haven't. Great, I can go down there. I can use Evolution Incense, and I can get another VMAX out onto this Lapras to make it slightly tankier. Um, let's bring that up there. Let's use Energy Retrieval to get this back VMAX going. Uh, let's use Frostmoth. This is now going to go online. Maybe I stand a chance. If they get po if I get a Pokemon catcher, I'm I'm screwed. There's a there's no way I'm gonna get out of that. Um, but I've got a very slim chance right now, which I basically just need to go for. Um, okay. I can't believe it's come down to like one prize card. I guess it comes down to whether they can actually charge up this Lapras enough. Now, I don't think so. If they have a Guzma, I'm I'm gone. If they have a Pokemon Catcher and they get it off, I'm also gone. Um, so let's see. Oh, they've only got one energy left in their deck. Really? How many have they played out? There's only seven there. Seven? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How few energies are they running? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They, don't, they are not running a lot of energies. Okay, so basically what needs to happen now is I need to get super, super lucky with this. So I need to use Powerful Squall. What do we get? Okay, we only get one energy. Which means I want to put it onto this back Lapras. Because then what I can do is I can use Frost Moth's Ice Dance. To get these two energies on this Lapras. Okay, that's still not enough. So now we need to use Cynthia to hopefully get more energies on it. I still don't think this is enough. Um, 7, 14, 21. Ah, oh, it's 300. I need one more energy. Oh, man. I needed one more energy. I don't think I even have energies left in my deck, so I'm only running 18. There's 9, 10, 11. Oh, there must be more. Um, I've just got to go for this. I was one energy short. I killed a 99. I'm learning to get a more fluent deck, like better combination stuff. 
Because I feel my decks are too slow for the way it's played now. I get outplayed a lot. I hear you, mate. Um, yeah, damn, that's game. Oh, man. Well played, my friend. I was one energy short. Yeah, no, I 100% get you. This game has changed so much. And it's crazy what you can do now with the, like, the tag teams and the VMAXs and all of that. Um, like, picking up three prize cards on the go. And I mean, you're getting... Like, there you go. Like, with three energies, you can be rocking out 180 plus damage. And in a lot of cases, a lot more damage than that. So I get you. Getting the combinations off these days are... Getting those combinations off are quite difficult. Um, there's just so much to the game now, it's crazy. And building a good deck, I'm finding, is very difficult. Um, I don't know, it just it feels more difficult than back in the day. I don't know if that's because, like, if the cards were just simpler or if I just knew the meta better. Um, it's, it's probably the fact that, like, I knew the meta better. But I 100% agree with you. Trying to make a deck that actually works better, like a smoother, like a smoother deck, it's, it's challenging. It really is challenging. Um, yeah, no, I get you. That's, that's the struggle I've been having with this deck at the moment, is getting all those combinations going. And I mean, this deck I'm running right now isn't an original deck. Um, I think I was going through YouTube, and I saw someone rocking um, Blastoise Lapras. And that's where I got the idea from. So this is by no means an original deck. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you're not familiar with the format, just decklist, man. It's the way to do it. Decklist, get some ideas going, and go from there. Oh, hey, nice. Um, pretty good first turn, actually. Um, so yeah, don't feel bad. Like, it's just, it's experience. It takes a long time to get it right. And I get you, I've been struggling as well. Uh, trying to get to the point where I actually know what's happening is very challenging. And yeah, getting outplayed a lot, that happens. Because like, I'll be sitting pretty thinking I'm in a very safe spot, and then out of nowhere I just get KO'd. It's not fun. <laughs> so I get you when you say you get just outplayed. Um, the thing is, I actually wanted to, I wanted to prof this turn. So I think the Squirtle is the best one from that. Yeah, I definitely want Professor's Research this turn. This is not a great hand. Uh, so let's quick ball this. Frostmoth's going anyway, so bye Frostmoth. Let's get our Lapras V down. So at least it's on the table. And from there, let us charge it up. And then let's prof this. Okay. This is not bad. This is not bad. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this. I'm gonna pass this now because I can't do anything else this turn. Um, Evolution Incense, Incense, I can actually go into uh, either War Turtle or Lapras VMAX. And then Crush Awake, I can get whatever else I need. Hmm, okay, this is a pretty decent hand. Oh, I wanted to put Lady in this deck. I forgot. Damn. Um, okay. That's unfortunate. So I'm going up against the Mew Mew, uh, the Mew Mew, which is frustrating. It's it's very difficult, and I really feel like I don't know the I don't know how long it takes to get like ranked to get like your matchmaking right in this. Um, but I really feel like mine's not. Because I feel like I'm going up against decks that are like crazy, like crazily well built. And just getting destroyed by it. Um. Oh, lovely. Okay. What's it do again? Um. This Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it, in addition to other cards, heal or damage from it. Okay. There's another Dene. So next to my opponent's getting a nice big hand. Unfortunately, I got no way to interact my opponent's hands as well, which is not fun. Okay, um, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I think I want my Snom to go in the front. Hmm. I actually don't think Crusher wakes the play here. 
I think going for something like a Cynthia is the play. Because what I can do... Ah, oh, man. Okay, wait, let me see if I get if I get it. Okay, I got a Cynthia. Uh, I think Cynthia is the play here. Because what I do is... I can... I need to get so lucky though. So I want to go there. Put that energy there. I want to retreat. Oh wait, I don't want to retreat. Cancel that. Don't want to retreat just yet. What I want to do is go for... Oh, but I have one retreat because Frostmoth... What is Frostmoth? Frostmoth's retreat cost is two. Um... I was hoping to actually charge up with Frostmoth, but I don't think it's going to be possible. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to retreat the Snom into Lapras. I'm going to go Evolution Incense to bring out my... Oh no, there's no more Frostmoth. I want a prize card. Ah, uh, I should have looked first. Oh damn, okay. I'm going to bring out then... War Turtle. Oh man, that sucks. I was hoping I actually forgot to look about my frost moth. Okay, then I need Cynthia this. So there's Cynthia. I hope I have at least one energy in this next hand. Okay, cool, I do. Okay, this is a bit better. Let's great ball this. What do we get? Okay, we do get our V Max, which I want in my hand. I'm hoping my opponent doesn't reshuffle my hand. Uh do I wanna rod this turn? I do want to rod this turn. Uh, I want to get that Frostmoth back in my deck. I need Frostmoth to get this going. And just get these energies going. Okay. Then what I want to do is... Body Surf. And... I'm actually going to Body Surf into Snom. As much as I need that Frostmoth, I need Blastoise more. Yeah, I need Blast... I 100% need Blastoise more. Oh, that's a great card. I'm actually very happy my opponent played Brilliant Forest. Okay, I need to get lucky with Pokegear again. Hopefully get into a Cynthia. Or even a Professor right now. Actually, a Professor would be better right now. Um, so let's see. What we can get. Um, this is going to be a tough game. Because unfortunately, I need a way to knock out this Mew. This Mew Mew. So I desperately need to get Blastoise off next turn. And just supercharge this Lapras. Um, how much do I need? I need 180 damage worth. So that's I need six energies on this thing. Oof! I'm gonna have to get so lucky. I'm gonna have to get so so lucky with this Lapras. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get at least three energies off with Blastoise. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. I'm only down one energy though, which is not bad. Hmm. Blastoise is basically my only win right now. Or not, not even win, but just hope. <laughs> is that another Mew Mew? Yeah, it's another Mew Mew. Okay. So right now, I have to see a Blastoise on this next turn. Otherwise I'm in serious trouble. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the energy down. Let's poke gear this. Get ourselves a professor, that's perfect. And let's see. They get super, super lucky here. Okay, Blastoise, I know you want to come out and play. Ah, oh, no Blastoise. Mm, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay. Oh, let's just go for Lapras. Can I probably deal 320 damage? Oh, um, this Pokemon has at least three extra energy attached to it in addition to- I uh, don't think they don't get the KO. The opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. This Pokemon has at least four extra- I don't think they get the KO. If all damage- Heal all damage from the Pokemon- I don't think they get the KO. 
If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it, in addition to others, to heal all damage from all of your Pokemon. Ah, uh, the Miraculous Duo is actually gonna screw me. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen this next turn. I, I'm not familiar enough with the meta to so. say. Um, all I know is I need this Blast Rage to come out. I'll, I'll get a KO next turn, regardless. Well, I'll get a KO. Really? You yielded? Why? Oh, well, I'll take it. It's a win. Uh, I'm not sure why my opponent uh, conceded there, but anyway. Um... Yeah, let's go into another game. So I'm really enjoying this Lapras deck. It's a lot of fun. It wasn't too difficult to make. And I like it. It's got some pretty cards in it. It's got some powerful cards in it. Uh, it was easy enough to make. I do say I wouldn't mind transitioning into an Intellion deck. I really want to try out that new Intellion. But I need good supporter cards. Mm. Not a great hand. Um... I don't have... I don't know. I don't know what supporter cards to use with that Intellion deck. Also, I don't know if Intellion should be, like, the star of that deck. Or if it should be supporter. Because I feel like the new Intellion with the Pokemon ability should be the supporter. Um, this is an awkward hand. This is a very awkward hand. Hmm... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I think I need to crush awake into a Lapras. Into Lapras V. And something else. Into a... Into a Cynthia. Um, okay, well, let me see. Let me poke gear this. What do I get? Absolutely nothing. Great. Okay. I'm going to have to crush awake this. Oh, this is so bad. I have to crush awake this into Lapras V and Cynthia. Because I can't I can't afford to Professor both my Laprases away. Oh, this is such a bad start. Oh, this is a bad start. Okay, let's see what I get next. Um, why wouldn't you just go with Pokemon Catcher? I don't get it. Um, Cause like you're chucking it anyway, and at least you're getting damage then on my Wincon. So I'm not quite sure why why my opponent didn't go for Pokemon Catcher there. Because 30, 30 damage on Lapras V is a lot better than 30 damage on the Squirtle. So I'm not quite sure my opponent's play there. Um. So let me get that going there. I'm actually going to energy retrieval so that those energies are not on my discard pile any further. Then what I'm going to do is Cynthia. Get a new hand, let's see what we get. Oh my word. Mmm, this is not a good day. Okay, this match might be a dud. I think this match is going to be a dud. Just some really bad draws, unfortunately. Um, I'll play it out. Let's see how it goes. Uh, hopefully I'll get lucky. But I'm not feeling too great about this deck. About this deck, about this game. Uh, it does look like my opponent's running the Necrozma deck, which is quite cool. Uh, I actually really like the Laser Focus theme deck. So I'm quite curious to see how my opponent changed it up. Um, I think it's a super reliable deck. It's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, with more special energies in it, it's great. Yeah, there goes Pokemon Catcher. I don't know why I didn't do that last time, my friend. Yeah, they got it. Let's see. Do they get a special energy this turn? I sincerely hope not. What do they get? What do they get? They got themselves... Special energy? If they drop a special energy now, nah, I'm in serious trouble. That means that's a two-turn KO. And there's nothing I can do about that. Because uh, there's no way I can get this Lapras online fast enough. Which is really unfortunate. Um, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't really think I've got a way out of this game. I would need perfect plays and a really terrible plays for my opponent to get out of this. But let's see. So barrier attack. Okay, I'm. I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with barrier attack. Let's get this one more energy down there, and prof this absolute trash hand away. And what do we get? Okay, I'm okay with this. Because we can go Pearl Pad, we can get those two back into our deck, which I'm happy about. We can get an evolution going, so let's get a War Turtle down. And let's get ourselves a Squirtle on the field as well, for hopefully a future War Turtle. And next turn I can get Prof's Research out. So this is a bit better. Um, maybe there's like a glimmer of hope. Water patch? Water patch only works for Pokemon on your bench. I need a way of getting more energies on my active Pokemon other than... Um, other than Blastoise. I'll just go through the trainers. I don't know if there is though. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not familiar. I don't know if there... If anyone knows if there's a way to get water energies on my active Pokemon faster. So I'm pretty sure water patch is only for my benched Pokemon. Um... Yeah. Okay, uh, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna live it though, and I'm gonna get a KO this next turn. Which is something. Uh, slowly getting there. Okay, let's prof this another trash hand away. And what do we get? This is looking better. Because there goes Blastoise. There is a Snom, which is what I need. Let's Quick Ball, let's get rid of our second Snom. And let's bring out a Lapras V. So this can go down. And we start building into a second one, hopefully getting lucky with Blastoise. That's everything I need there. So let's go for Blastoise, Puffle Squall. Only one energy, I needed more than that. Let's get that one going. Uh, nothing else to do here for now. I'm going to hold on Poke Gear until next turn, because I can't play it this turn. And we're going to get a knockout. So what does my opponent bring in next? Oh, there's another Blastoise. It's not bad, I guess. Okay, what does this do? Cosmic Burn. This Pokemon can't use Cosmic du Burn during next turn, and Light the Protector GX. If you play at least full force from your hand during this turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to each of your Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Alright. Um, not bad, I guess. They can charge up on their bench Pokemon now, and I'm wondering which one they're going to do. Okay, what are they bringing out from Mysterious Treasure? Another Malamar. Right, so um, this is... Definitely problematic because our opponent has serious energy advantage right now. Oh, oh, okay. I was just curious why they got a Malamar because they don't have space for Malamar. But anyway. Um, I wonder if my opponent's going to char charge up the Necrozma if I go charge up this Solgaleo and uh, Lunala. I think I'm safe this turn. I think I'm safe this turn. Um, okay, so uh, bring the Sogaleo online. Um, I might actually retreat this Lapras VMAX out. I don't want to give my opponent three prize cards. And I know 200 damage is coming out next turn. So... I like my opponent's deck though, they took a theme deck and they customized it, I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot, so good on you mate. Definitely good on you. Okay, let's get this Lapras V down. Um, what do I get from this Blastoise? Okay, just one energy, that's actually enough. Because what I want to do is retreat out this Lapras V Max. Go into my second one. I don't want to give away a V prize cards, it's just too much. Uh, that is not a great one. I don't want to crush awake right now. I'm wanting a professor. Ideally, I'm wanting a Cynthia. There is Cynthia. That's exactly what I want to see. If I can Cynthia now into Frostmoth, that'll be fantastic. Let's see. And there's Frostmoth. And there is another Blastoise coming down, which is absolutely awesome. Let's just get this energy retrieval going. Let's get these two back in my hand. Um... I actually don't need an Evolution Incense, so what I want to do is I want to Quick Ball away Evolution Incense. 
And I want to bring out... Oh wait, that was stupid. I actually needed Evolution Incense for Lapras D-Max. And my opponent yields either way. So, that is our second win. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. This is, I'm, I'm feeling like the standard deck is getting there. It's certainly not perfect, but it's a pretty fun standard deck. I like it. I think to close off this episode, let's open up two more packs. Uh, let's see what we get. And see if we get lucky. There's still a lot of cards I'm looking for. So, let's see. Let's go to my collection. Let's open them up. Um... Okay, let's see, what do we get? Get... Please something good. Please something good. I don't want to see trade value now because I can't trade these cards away. We get... A third Uranguru. I'm okay with that. I've now got three of them. That's actually super, super cool. And uh, let's open up one more. And the final pack for today... Um, another Crushing Hammer. I'm actually really okay with that. I've now got three Crushing Hammers. Oh, hello, you beautiful. I got the Golden Zation V. That is a very, very nice draw. Uh, I'm happy with that. I've got two now, which is great. I've got one standard one and now one gold one. That is awesome. Uh, that was quite a nice pull. I'm happy with that. All right, so that was a pretty good session. Um, one thing I do want to say, though, I really want to push for 500 subscribers on Facebook. So if you see it in my collection here, I'm sitting on... Quite a number of unopened packs. I'll be playing some more events to get to 10. What I would like to do is, so as I've said before, if I get to 500 subs on YouTube, that is five unopened packs as a giveaway. What I really want to try and do, if I can hit that 500 before the end of April, so before May 1st, I'll double that to 10 packs and I'll do five to a single person, three to another and two to the third. Um, so yeah, I would really like to push to 500 subs by the end of this month. I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, it'll be really awesome and people will be getting a lot of unopened Sword and Shield packs. And hopefully a lot of value. Even if you just trade them away, it's yours. So have some fun with them. Um, and next week, I also want to try and get a video out every single day and have some fun with that. And yeah, really, really push to get to the giveaway next week or next month, basically. Um, I enjoy giving packs away as much as I enjoy building decks. I actually really enjoy giving packs to You guys everyone watching the channel. I really appreciate it And I want to show my love for everyone who is watching and help me out So as always, thanks so much for watching everyone. Uh, I am on YouTube check out my YouTube channel there mountain spider gaming and then uh, I am also on Facebook at mountain spider gaming. You can check me out there for news when i'm going to be uploading videos when i'm going to be doing streams and you'll get notifications whenever i put a video out there as well so thank you so much for everyone watching i really do appreciate it and cheers enjoy